Child. He's a Marine, he's a bartender, he's a kids wrestling coach, he owns a jiu-jitsu club, this is all true, stand-up comedian, and according to Bobby and Danny, the pretty boy of the family, possibly the son of a milkman. I commented, he looks eerily like Bobby Segovia too, but... All right, thank you everyone. Uh, my name is Joey, I am Gary's son, and I just wanna clear a few things up. Uh, first off, I'm actually the J and J Stevens. Uh, I've been telling people for a long time now, I'm not gonna stop now. Also, Jason mentioned earlier that he didn't think that Gary would fire one of his own kids. I'm here to tell you that not only have I been fired from the company and banned from ever returning, it has happened twice. I am banned from ever returning to any of the shoe stores, and I am banned from ever returning to the office. <laughs> also, I come with a disclaimer. If any of you have felt at any point so far that, man, they say the F word a lot. Well, what a vulgar event. Well, then you better buckle your fucking seatbelt. <laughs> because basically all of Gary's kids got some of Gary's traits, but we all really excel in just one of them. Steven got Gary's work ethic. Jason, Gary's business savvy. Bobby got Gary's love of family. All the things that involve the siblings, she's the one that connects them. Danny has basically gotten his love for extravagant things. <laughs> Now when you come to me, I'm basically what happens when you take all the times Gary says fuck face and ass wipe and any off-color joke and you turn that into a person. That's who I am. Now you guys have seen plenty of the videos and pictures of Gary, so what I'm about to tell you, you all will know that none of this is embellished or made up. So first, before we even get started, I'd like to thank all the vendors and retailers. Give yourselves a hand for showing up and making this event possible. I'd like to thank the vendors in particular for picking up the tab on the meal and uh, various other meals, for picking up the tab on my student loans, for picking up the much more expensive tab that I racked up at the bar earlier today. So this whiskey is brought to you by Clark's. Cheers, champ. And while we're on Gary Champion, I keep hearing that Gary Champion is pretty much unroastable. Uh, but let's face it, you pretty much got a really huge head start in life when your last name is fucking Champion. When you were a kid, what was it like around with your parents? You can't get a B, you're a champion. You can't get second place, you're a champion. You can't date a man like Gary House. You're a champion. Like, what was your response back to them? What am I supposed to do? Be the president of the United States? No, you pussy. You're a champion. You're going to be the president of Earth. That joke is just a little bit outdated. Uh, <laughs> that's all right. He's the president of Clark's now. Anyway. Uh, I'm not here to kiss Gary Champion's ass. What we're really here to do is to roast the less handsome of the two Garys, the less successful of the two Garys, the much older of the two Garys. You're younger than this man? You really need to slow down on these crown royals. This man is my second most disliked boss. My first dis most disliked boss would actually be my brother Jason. <laughs> he once filmed me sleeping at work and he posted it to YouTube. Let's see if we... There's actually a Japanese term called inamuri, 
which means present while sleeping. It's considered good work ethic to be working so hard that you fall asleep while you're at work. You guys have lost your hardest working employee. I don't know what you were thinking. Jason also once sent me home for some reason that I'm going to assume was complete bullshit. Anyway, back to Gary. As much as I'd like to say mean things about this man, it would pale in comparison to just quoting him and then let you guys all form your own opinions. Maddie thinks I'm funny. So I'm gonna start easy. Gary. Wasn't Marky Mark in the New Kids on the Block? Bobby. No, that was his brother Donnie. Gary. Oh. Donnie Mark? <laughs> We all know certain Garyisms. Hey, fuckface, something he may say to an old friend, or hey, fuckface, something he may say to an acquaintance, or hey, fuckface, something he say to his son Joey, age five. <laughs> I can't fully blame Gary for his ignorance, naivety, stupidity. This actually might be a house gene. Now this next joke I'm gonna tell is actually gonna come with a disclaimer. Gary and my grandpa Dalty are both old. They're, in fact, very old. And when you become old, some of the things that you say that were okay maybe at one time of your life are now no longer okay. In fact, they're very not okay. But we both love Gary and Dalty very much. And this conversation really happened, and it happened with the best of intentions. So I'm gonna tell it, and I hope that you guys just still keep loving them. So the following conversation had happened uh, while Gary and Dalty were talking about a particular man that they both knew. Gary was convinced that Dalty did know this man, and this man also happened to be of Asian descent. So I will go into the conversation. Dalty, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know who this is. Gary, Dalty, you know who this is. Dalty, I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, wait a minute. He was a Chinaman, wasn't he? <laughs> Gary. Dalt, that is politically incorrect. You cannot say Chinaman. The proper word to say is Oriental. <laughs> now, I really do want you all to know that Gary is not racist. In fact, he's like, unlike, he's like Donald Trump. He's the most, he's the least racist person you will ever meet in your life. In fact, one of his best friends in the world is actually a man of Hispanic descent. Uh, his name's Paco, I think you just... Oh, wait a minute. His name's not Paco, is it? It's Esteban. Very similar to Paco. Maybe not quite. I will give it to Gary. He is the kind of person who will say what is on his mind. And normally, while that's not a big deal, we live in an age now of social media. So Gary, the rest of us kids have decided and we voted that we are going to take away all of your social media privileges. I will now show you exhibit A. This is me in the prime of my life after a two month training camp, getting ready, cutting weight. And I notice right here at the bottom of the screen, my dad has left me a comment. Am I excited? Yes, I am. Is he gonna finally tell me how proud he is of me? He just might. This is my boy. We look exactly the same when I take my, off my shirt. We both have a belly button and two boobies. <laughs> Let's go to exhibit B. Here I am, facing fears, getting comfortable in uncomfortable situations. What could Gary possibly have to say about this that's negative? I hear you can do permanent damage to your package. Now I know this man. This wasn't from a sarcastic place of, I bet you can do permanent damage to your package. This comes from, I heard you can do da permanent damage to your package. And then let's continue here. He'll have a boner for life, blah, 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 and we'll go to Gary. It will be frozen, but boner I doubt. More like a shrunken thumb. It will be frozen, but boner I doubt. 
It will be more like a shrunken thumb. Shameful, sir. Now, while his antics are definitely crazy, he has taught me to appreciate a good joke. Not only to appreciate one, but to tell one. So with your permission tonight, I would like to tell you my favorite joke, and the only person in the world I have heard it from is my dad, Gary, here. Now, I've obviously told you what I've told you and done things already, so I feel like we're all friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell this joke with or without your permission. However, I will warn you, it is probably the most inappropriate thing I've said thus far. Here we go. Little Johnny goes to school. Little Johnny's teacher has an assignment for the day. His teacher is fed up with the way that little Johnny speaks and all the bad words that he constantly uses that today she's decided she's gonna beat little Johnny at his own game. Little Johnny, I have a game we're gonna play. You can say any bad words you'd like, but it has to come from the letter of the alphabet that I give you. Little Johnny, excited to take on this challenge, says, absolutely, what are we doing? She says, all right, Johnny, your letter is R. Johnny is sitting there. He is confused. He cannot think of anything. He has such a long dictionary of words and nothing's coming to mind. Suddenly, he says, I got it. The teacher is horrified. What word could he possibly have thought of right now? Little Johnny excitedly says, a rat. The teacher says, a rat. That's the best you can come up with, Johnny. Johnny goes, yeah, a big fucking rat with a cock this big. <laughs> That joke made me so popular in my first grade class, I will never forget it. <laughs> now, as we finish this thing, I will let it be known that we do only roast the ones that we love. So here he is, a little bit of a dum-dum, yes. Is he at times rude? Absolutely. Would you want to be his server? Definitely not. But would you want to work for this man? I can tell you from experience, fuck no, you would not want to work for this man. But, <laughs> I feel that the measure of a man does come from how much we love those around us and how much we show that love and what we're willing to do for the ones that we do love. So Gary, I am so happy to have you as a father, as a mentor, and I really do thank you for all the amazing things that you've done for me. I really couldn't ask for anyone better in my life. Thank you so much. Love you, Dad. Gary, hey, it's your good buddy David here. So 